with this zero stroke three. All these ones are paper codes. We call them paper codes of a level of a level entrepreneurship. A level entrepreneurship. Now, at this time, why have I used more of codes than the subject name itself? Because, like I've already introduced myself, that is the paper code we are going to look at. And then for today, we are mainly going to look at um, um, the most interesting paper. Last time we looked at paper three. Today we are going to look at mainly paper two. And this is how it is going to. This is what we are going to look at mainly in the paper two due to interest of time. We are going to look at P2, it is zero stroke two, and we are mainly going to look at how, how to prepare, how to prepare, how to prepare business plan, how to prepare business plan documents, how to prepare business plan documents. And I remember last time telling you that the business plan documents we are mainly looking at are mainly the components of the business plan. In this regard, when we are going to prepare business plan documents, dear viewers, make sure that you put in mind what we call the elements. Now, we need students to make sure that you put in mind elements, elements of business plan. We call them elements or docu or components of business plan. And in this in this case, therefore, we are going to look at the following elements. Number one, we shall look at the general description, general description, general description. Uh -huh. We shall also see how best to prepare statement, statement of mission comma vision comma goals and objectives we shall also move very fast and look at what we call the marketing plan we shall prepare it and see we shall also prepare what we call production plan production plan we shall also prepare what we call financial financial plan we shall also prepare what we call organization organizational plan then we shall lastly prepare what we call an action plan uh, of course um we need to accept that we also have an executive summary as an element of business plan but of course in the due course of the discussion i will let you know where and what do we need to include in an executive summary as an element of a business plan first of all the following are the don'ts we shall begin with the don'ts the following are the don'ts point the first don't is avoid avoid individualizing individual avoid individualizing individualizing business plan documents business plan documents now dear viewers what does it mean that when you are preparing them let us avoid using words like i words like my words like our uh-huh words like we etc so why do we avoid using such kind of words ladies and gentlemen we need to accept that um, a business plan document is a working document and it being a working document what does it mean that it is a document that will continue operating even when the person who prepared it uh, happens to, to to leave the organization or to leave the company we have seen very many businesses where the proprietors are no more but the businesses are continuing to, to, to operate or to exist so therefore we avoid individualizing them and we should avoid 
making sure that it is as if it is us who are owning the business it is not us who are owning the business instead it is the a document that is being owned by almost the entire organization and therefore we don't individualize it it is a mainly a working document might be my telephone number i will write it here for purposes of whatsapping send your whatsapp questions inquiries and then i will answer them as time goes on uh, it is 0704417617 that is my whatsapp number you are very very free to to send any question on whatsapp of course like we always do uh, after like um the first uh during the last session i will give you i will give in like i will use around 10 minutes to go through the whatsapp questions and then i'll be in position to answer them but that is my whatsapp number it is 0704 41 76 17. i said i'm called um, mutegechi patrick mutegechi patrick a teacher at mango senior school mango senior me use the word mango ss that is Mango Senior School. I, my, my contacts can remain there for purposes of you sending your WhatsApp number, any question of inquiry to mention, but a few. So avoid and avoid individualizing it and let us try to avoid, like I've said, the use of words like I, uh, use of words like my, use of words like our, use of things like we, why it does not, it is a, a business plan document, it is nobody's business, it is an organizational document. And therefore, we should avoid using such kind of words. Might be the do's. Now, these are the do's. And the do's, here we are saying that the business name, business name and address, business name and address, business name and address are a must. Aha. Uh -huh. Here, what, what am I trying to refer to? It is something we need to understand and it is something we need to accept that even if I ask someone, for example, I say, X, can you talk about yourself? Trust me or believe me or not, you will need to first of all begin by telling me your name, that you are called X, Y, Z, and then plus other elements. And we shall see where those elements, uh, which are those elements that require and how are we going to use the business name. Then number next, another do or another do is that um, uh, we must make sure that um, we must make sure that uh, we state we state the document name the document name in full. What does stating the document name in full mean? that we cannot write words like for example you are preparing i'm giving you an example a marketing plan and the student goes ahead and write mkt plan uh -huh. now mkt does not mean a marketing plan we may our market plan i don't know what a person would need to, to mean it is very much advisable that we avoid using such kind of words because um, they are not very much important and they are not of any use so we avoid using such kind of words uh -huh. now let us move very fast to the core point of our, core point, our, our today's discussion of course like i've already introduced we are going to begin to look at the business preparation of the business plan and here we may decide how to prepare business plan documents we started with um, outlining the elements of the business plan and we agreed that they are one two three four five six seven and i said in another element i've not written here and that is the general description and in the preparation of the general description we have members agreed that um at first we even agreed that the general description by definition it is just nothing but uh, that document that gives a clear details of the business in terms of the name the product the business deals in the location and then might be some other few elements now the difference between and the biggest challenge we always have especially with our learners outside there our dear viewers of senior six the biggest challenge we always have is that uh, at times um students end up confusing the three the three papers that is paper one paper two and paper three now in paper one they may ask you to explain the elements or the components of the business plan 
Now, when you're explaining, you're not supposed to prepare, of course, that is paper one. And you don't have to go into details like what you would do when you are preparing it in a paper three approach. Because in paper three approach, we agreed that a student can as well bring in the elements of the general description that we talked about. Set out any, for example, they could be four, they could be five to mention, but a few. But in paper one, we mind they need a definition. An example can also stand in to mean the explanation of the point. But again, it is very much paramount or very much important for us to look at mainly the, the definition of what a general description is all about. And then we said under general description, the following are the elements that we are going to mind the look at. The following are mainly the key elements of the general description. Remember, I have, I have removed this, but of course, take note on assumption that you have copied them down. And therefore, I'm going to, to, uh, I'm going to again reprint them again. Now, we are looking at the elements. We are looking at the elements of a general description general description now these elements we agreed one it is name and address name and address it is very much important for us to note the name and address of the business and we agreed that uh, of course what do we call a name of the business this goes to my ideas near fives who are watching because i know that most of you uh, uh, most of you did not do anything all level and at the end of the day you might be hearing it for the first time as well as those who have just uh, who have just realized that there is an end subject an end discussion on delta tv and therefore you may need to know what are, do we mean by the name of the business and how do we generate the name of the business dear viewers we agree that a name of the business is any name given to any business or any name given to any organization that differentiates it or that uh, separates or that i uh, know i mean that differentiates it from other similar uh, or related businesses for example there are very many tv stations in the country of course we all know but what differentiates them from other tv stations or from other radio stations or from other restaurants outside there are uh, the name or is the name now when you look at the name this is now delta tv meaning that if i tell someone that i'm going on tv the question will be outside there which tv are you going to meaning that you need to have the name of that particular organization in order to differentiate it from other similar or related organization dear viewers i hope you have understood that and that's very nice the address of the business uh, we need to accept that an address it is what describes you are you are it's what you describes your your physical location i don't talk about what describes your location or what describes you as in where you are it's what we are trying to refer to as a, an address of the business and we said like here i said first of all the name of the business can be a name of a human being can be a name of an um, um, uh, an animal a old animal it can even be a name of any kind of physical feature you can mention so we can because we have got to companies like Rezori bottling company Rezori is a mountain but again, it stands in to be a name of a given company. There are some brothers and sisters of ours in Soroti who have got organization, who have got names like uh, I, I saw a given business called um, Lions Club. But when you look at lions, we all believe that a lion is a wild animal, the king of the jungle. But someone turned it to be the name of a given organization, a name of a given company. To mention, but a few, even if I don't go into details of that. So address, we agree that an address an address we agreed can either be can either be one telephone number are you seeing telephone number that the telephone number can stand in to be the address uh-huh can decide to can either be a PO box number of course we all know that most companies that are registered have got a pure box a, 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 a post address and that is a pure box number and they will tell you how to write it it can even be an email address email address are you seeing that it can be an email address i can have an email address to be the address that i have aham uh -huh. these days it can even be a whatsapp number see can even have i can even use 
my WhatsApp number, like I've told you, that my personal address is 0704417617. That understands to be the personal address. So in the case you want to, 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 to ask me anything, of course, in line with academics, you cannot begin asking me whether it is raining where I stay, or you can't begin asking me, um, some of funny, funny, funny questions I may not be in position to answer. So once you ask me questions that are not related to entrepreneurship, dear viewers, I may not be in position to answer. I may not tell you that I'm not in position, but I may just switch you off. Why? Because I may not have any answer for the question that you have asked. Here we have read, let my center of focus be on your box number. Dear viewers, it is very much important for us to note that when you are writing a your box number, please write the number for example, PO box, I'm giving you an example. Now, 236. Uh huh. Write the village and the district, or write the district and the country. What am I trying to mean? I can decide to say PO box 236, Kampala. You get the point? Kampala, Uganda. Now, what am I trying to refer to? That there are members outside there who would love to write it as a PO box because they are against time. PO Box 236 and stop there. What am I trying to mean? There are members who would write and say PO Box, you see, PO Box 236, full stop, and leave it there. This does not describe an address. Why? Where is it located? Which is very much important for us to note that when you are writing or when you are stating the box address, the PO Box number, please try to state at least the village, uh, I mean the village or the parish and the district and then or the district and the country because here when i say kampala uganda they at least someone will know that this address stands in or this particular collocation must be in kampala as simple as that the email address even if i don't talk about it the telephone number even if i don't talk about it i believe that we all know what we are supposed to indicate under there so it is very much important for us to note that when you are getting it for you in order to get this mark of the name and address let us note it that eh, the name of the business can either be any name even it can be an abbreviation it can even be your biological name i can have a name like um i can have a name like um for example robina uh -huh, robin and sons restaurant like we have a guma's restaurant someone can even be called can can, can be called robina and then you write the name and say oh irene you can go ahead and say Irene and Family Restaurant. Irene and Family Stationery, to mention but a few. So your name can even stand to be the name of a particular business. Dear viewers, you need to take note of that. Uh, another element besides the business name is um, what the business deals in. This is paper two now. What the business deals in. Uh -huh, products, products or your yeah, products offered. Uh -huh products offered. I would advise members due to interest of time that at least try to set out one particular product because you cannot tell me that you are dealing in any particular business and then you don't know what the business deals in. It is upon us to know that if you are dealing in, for example, a given business so-called XYZ, then have be in position to know what that particular business deals in. For example, different businesses deal in different products. For example, you realize that um, there's a very big difference between a restaurant, a, a hotel, and the times takeaways. There's a very serious and uh, a, a tremendous difference between the three that, uh, of course, we shall need to know. For you who is dealing in hotel facilities, what facilities are you dealing in? Those are the products that we are trying to talk about. Say it out. Is there a sauna in, the, in your hotel? Is there anything like massage? Is there anything like a club? Is there to mention but a few? Try to mention the products that the business is dealing in. Um, another element might be a member can talk about could mainly be that the location of the business. And this is very important. Location of the business. Uh-huh. Here we agreed that when we are stating the location of the business, dear viewers, I would love to request, I would love to inform members in the house that please, when you are stating the location of the business, can we please avoid using words like off? Uh -huh. When you are stating the location, this is something we need to note. We say that avoid using, avoid using off, you see, uh -huh, comma, along, you see, 
etc. Now let us try to avoid use to avoid using such kind of words when stating the location. It's been very much a, a, a serious challenge everywhere in most schools. I'm sorry to let you members know that when stating the location, some people tend to use the word of, for example, located on such and such highway off or five kilometers off the main road. Now, what does the word of present? Or what does it mean? So let us try to avoid the word of along. We don't have any business along the road. No, please. What should be indicated or what should a student look at when stating the location of the business? We can as well use the physical future, a visible physical future, something that can be there, permanent physical future. I can give you an example. If you ask me, um, might be to state the location of this particular um TV station. I can tell you it is located, for example, it is located in Katwe, a high sing, opposite, opposite the Kabakas, what? Opposite the Kabakas, something. So you need to get to be in position to know what else am I supposed, what am I supposed to base on to state my location. That's why some businesses have words like, use words like opposite a given petrol station, opposite a given church if it is common and com commonly known, opposite a given school if it is commonly known to mention but a few. Then number next as an element of the general description, we are also going to move very fast and look at um, uh, and look at um, look at um, the source of funds you see now we are going to move very fast and look at source of funds what does source of funds mean where does that business generate uh, its income from here of course we don't have to confuse the two like i told you now when we go to paper three of course i told you what you do in as far as section b is concerned in an, and, and in as far as section c is concerned but here in paper two we are looking at where businesses get their revenues from where do you think businesses get their 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 their, their, their support funds from most businesses get funds from loans so you can say source of funds loans even if you don't state for us how much because now the how much loan you got from the bank that stands to be the evidence and we agreed that that will obviously be paper three and here in this regard we don't need to see anything to, to we don't need anything to do with them the source of funds and then you state the figure it will be a wastage of time and then you will not be in position to finish your paper in time so source of funds you can specifically give one source for example you can say e.g don't use the word e.g you can say directly uh -huh, source of funds loans loan full stop or you can say loans that the business got loans from banks there are those businesses that are highly depending on loans and they are the majority they get loans from different sources you realize that there are those businesses who get loans from say centenary stand big bank to mention but a few so that they are this specific source of fund that you are talking about you can say to give one or a maximum of two don't give very many because some of your friends what they intend to do you intend giving very many examples of the sources from where the business generate their income or their capital from then another one we also need to see is what we call the customers customers of the business uh -huh. customers of the business what does this mean these are the target customers of course we said that the target customers here we mean they mean the they, they intended group of people or the intended customers the business plan to give or to offer its products to that before we, we, we begin producing anything, we first look at that particular group of people. You get the point? That particular group of people we intend to supply or we intend to give our products. That is why when you look at most of the adverts nowadays, of course we shall see it, of course, in marketing. Next time we give, next time we meet again for paper one, we shall see it in marketing. That when we are marketing a given product, the first element is looking at the class, the, the, the social class and the, the age group of people. That is why most of the marketing techniques used nowadays when they're advertising phones, when they're advertising a nice fashion of a blouse, a nice fashion of a skirt, a nice fashion of a, a, a trouser, to mention but if you, the best media these people are using mainly is social media. That's why when you go on Facebook, you're going to see someone selling a very nice shoe. You're going to see someone selling a very nice skirt, a very nice blouse, a very nice to mention but if you, why? Because they know that by social class and by age as well as the, 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 the group 
they realize that uh, the, the very young people are the target customers and most of them like using WhatsApp, Facebook and the like. It is ideally very hard to meet uh, a student, to meet someone of your, of your age, for example, senior five, senior six and university students outside there without a page on Instagram, without a page on, 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 um, on WhatsApp, without at least something, Facebook to mention, but if you, at least you must be on, on, a specific, on a specific social media. Even when some of you may not be having phones, of course, like I like my fellow parents who do that, because at times students, it's not that we, our teachers, no, sorry, parents don't want to give you phones that they don't like you, no. At times we assume that anything that can distract you outside what you are supposed to do, it could be far better for you to first do away with it and then concentrate on the academics. The moment you complete your senior six very well, it will be an assumption that now you can say to know that it is time for using the phone, now it is time for academics or it is time for serious business, as simple as that. So the target customers are very, very much important for us to base on and determine whether to continue or, or, or not. So therefore, we shall go for a short commercial break. When we come back, we shall continue with the, the business plan document. We shall finalize with the, the general description. Then we shall move on to another particular document. Uh, please, I gave you my WhatsApp number. You are very free to send any question, any point of inquiry. And then, of course, like I said, I will give in time to continue. Let's go for a simple commercial break. Thank you very much for listening and viewing. Welcome back from that short commercial break. Let's continue from where we stopped, from where we have just stopped. We are still describing the elements of the general description that a student should do, indicate or should put in the, in the, in the, the document called the general description. And we are yet going to prepare it. We had looked at the target customers and we said it is the intended group of people the business aims to supply its products to. Of course, I said I was giving you an example that different businesses uh, look at different class of people in a different kind of way. That, um, for example, those members who are dealing in um, fashions, they would love to supply their products to the youth. Those who are dealing in um, the things like the, the traditional dressings of old people, of course, uh, you know how the old people put on the kanzus, the gomez for, 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 our, for our parents at home outside there. You realize that uh, there's that specific group of people because there is no individual who is dealing in the making of those that, 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 that the gomezes, the kanzus, who would love to supply them or would love to to, to have a target class, customer group of people as the students, no, please. But of course, there are those fashions like we have mentioned, um, who's the owners of that particular business, mind like look or aim at um, the, 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 the young people. That's why we are looking at phones, we are looking at the new fashions to mention but a few. Of course, um, without wasting time, we shall, I think, look at more one and then we move on and uh, Maybe after looking at the target customers of the business, mainly you can as well because we are making a description of the business. You can as well uh, give, tell us what we call the uniqueness. When you talk about the uniqueness, is what makes your business different from other similar or related businesses. Yes, we all have boutiques. We are all dealing in clothing. But what makes your business different from other similar or related businesses? It is what we are trying to mend the look at here. And then, lastly, is what we call the frame. The frame is very important. Why? All documents should have the frame. And then we agreed that the frame is very, very much important for us to, to have. Um, let's first of all draft it here in a document form. All that has been outlining the elements. And let's try to draft it together. And then we see, now after drafting it, what do we need to do in it? What are we supposed to, to do? Yes, we have talked about all those elements, but can we again transfer those elements into the, the table that we are talking about? And then we see how we are going to do it. First of all, this is the frame I was talking about. I will formulate my frame here. I will have my question like, um, the, for example, you intend to establish a, um, a mango juice project in your home area and you have, have you been told to prepare a general description this is what we shall do we can decide to pick a name from the audience someone can decide us can decide to give us any name of his or her choice mine could be an abbreviation for example abc abc's uh-huh mango juice mango juice see 
Aha. I get my PO box number. PO box 110110 Soroti Uganda. Soroti Uganda. 110 Soroti Uganda. Aha. Uh -huh. Of course it is being normal to read the telephone number. Telephone 0704 then 417617 mine then i will have the document named clearly written it is the it is general description general description general description general description for uh -huh, for abc for abc's mango juice abc's mango juice are you seeing now then after stating that i will move very fast and uh, pick the elements now first of all we have already started the element because we said name and address is one element and there it is the document name i have talked about it then i will move very fast and begin the, 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 the elements like for example i talked about the location i can say located you see located uh-huh located them um, located in Katwe located in Katwe opposite are you seeing opposite 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 shell petrol station shell petrol station you see and then that's um, that's my location I will move very fast to products offered I will say uh huh uh, products offered products offered i will say i will not waste any time i will state one products i've talked about mango juice it is mine the mango juice i'm stating on the one mango juice aha uh -huh. i will move very fast and also i will move very fast and also pick another element and my number two element is source of funds i will say aha uh -huh, that source of funds source of funds source of funds i will say loans loans from banks or from financial institutions etc uh-huh and they would say it is target customers maybe i would say customers uh-huh and the state maybe i would say since it is a paper too we don't have to bring in we can say to bring in places around we can say hotels hotels and schools hotels and schools around hotels and schools around 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 full stop because of space ah you can decide to close your what your document now anyone going to get your paper even if it's your teacher marking your school after knowing that you have clearly arranged it in that order what will he or she do? That individual will need to know. Have you set out the element of the general description? You will need you need to look at them first. Pick an element by an element. Have you presented it in the way it is supposed to be presented? Look at the element. For example, I've talked about the, 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 the location. How have you set your location? Have you used the don'ts I talked about where we said we should avoid using off and along? Then you ask yourself, have you seen anything to do with or off and along in the location? Obviously, no. Then we've talked about the products offered. Now, the products offered, we agreed that you can say to state on the one product. Because there are those businesses that are dealing in one particular product. On the one particular product. For example, these, um, these friends of ours who are dealing in popcorns, of all we, of course we all know popcorns. I really don't know the other particular, the other product the business can do when it is dealing in the popcorns. I think it is mainly popcorns. So you can say to state one particular business and you say popcorns etc. Now, what are we supposed to note around there that a student should ask him or herself? Now, questions would be, for example, some students could ask teacher, now, can I state the location? As in a paragraph, I state everything in one paragraph. Then another person would ask, can I go ahead and state, uh, besides stating it in one paragraph, can I go ahead and have my location, for example? I can, can I go and bring all the elements in one paragraph? 
For example, I said the name of the business, I put, I again continue, put a command to continue. Please, I think order matters a lot. Of course, like we agreed last time in paper three, that uh, I can that when you are stating some of these elements, of course we shall also talk about them in paper two. There are some documents like the programs, the schedules, the plans, where the activity column should be in order. I'm not saying that these elements should be in order. No, please. But what are we supposed to do? Try to be organized by stating at least the the, the, the element, and then the now in this regard. The, the, the evidence of the product that you are dealing in is the particular product that you are going to set out for us. When you tell us the products offered and you don't tell us what you really deal in, it, it sounds or oh, it looks very funny. So we need to take note of that. Then the number next is the source of funds. Let us be in position to know what are some of the key sources of funds that the business mainly deals in. As simple as, as that. And then after that, we should be in a position to note that uh, when stating the general description in paper 2, it is fairly, fair easier than how you would state it in paper 3. In fact, in fact, in all the three papers, it is very easy. It's a document that anybody can move on and prepare as fast as we can or as fast as she, he or she can. Why? Because once you get to know how best to bring out all the elements of the general description, everything will be very, 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 very easy. As simple as that. Of course, I said for questions, you will of course be sending them on my WhatsApp number and we are yet to see the WhatsApp. I'm yet to, to, to go to my WhatsApp and begin checking whether and the, the question members are sending because they can see there are very many there are very many WhatsApp messages that are coming. Of course, we shall move on and and again answer all those questions people are trying to ask and send. Uh, let's continue to another element due to interest of time. And the of course, uh, for those who does, for those who have just joined us, it we are discussing entrepreneurship education a level. It is a paper two. I've said the paper code is P two three zero stroke two, and then the WhatsApp number or my number is zero seven zero four uh, forty one seventy six seventeen, and uh, my name is um, Tegesh Patrick at Chief Mango Senior School. So be in position to master this, and then send the questions. Even when I leave. Uh, that are air you can as well go on and send questions and we interact because um, it is the new era it is the new normal that we should get to know so because of space you allow me rub this and then bring in another particular document and my number two element is going to be statement statement of mission vision goals and and objectives now there is something we need to realize and as if i talked about it last time now the difference between that the three papers is that in paper in a paper in a paper two when we are asked to prepare a mission a vision a goal and objective now these documents stand on their own in the paper two they stand on their own. Each element or each statement stands on its own. What am I trying to mean? The mission will stand on its own. The vision will stand on its own. The goal will stand on its own. And objectives will also stand on their own. So what am I trying to mean here? Now, unlike in paper three, because in paper three, what do we do? You realize that in paper three, we summarize this as purpose. Now in paper three, when you are preparing a general description and you happen to happen to, to give the mission, you give the vision, you give the goal and objective, all this will call for only one mark. Are you seeing how you will have wasted a lot of time? Why? Because first of all, you need to accept and agree that it is mainly the purpose. This will mainly tell the reason as why the business should or must continue operating. And because this tells what the business, why the business should continue operating, there are five stands to be the purpose in the paper three. But in as far as paper two is concerned, we are going to prepare each document on its own. For example, if you are preparing a, a, the mission for your business, what do we expect members to do? Of course, if you are preparing the mission for the business, we shall expect a student, obviously, to have one, the business name and address, we said name and address is very important. Name and address. Name and address. This is something very, very important because you cannot begin, uh, you can't describe yourself or you can't tell, you can't talk about yourself without take, 
talking about your name. So the name is very, very, very important. So we should need or would love to see your name being stated first. And then number next, of course, when we talk about the address, I've talked about the address already. That's why I don't want to repeat it because of time. We have talked about the PO box number. I told you how to state the PO box number and how to state the, the, the telephone number. I have to mention but a few. Now, the document name. If it is a mission, what do we do? We say, we say mission statement, mission statement, mission statement for, for ABCs, for ABC juice, for ABC juice, mango juice, mango juice project is mango juice project mango juice project is now why do we need to see the word is because we agreed that the mission is a particular is a single document and therefore even when you are preparing it please may you have it in mind that when i'm preparing the mission statement it is a single particular document and therefore when you are stating it avoid avoid here we don't put r why because it's only one document and you realize that if you can view us outside there you help me and you go to your school and check in the core values of your school you look for the mission for it will help you to understand how best to prepare this some of these documents here now when you are stating the mission like we said last time of course you realize that it is only one particular document so you say easy then you say to for example to provide mine would be to provide to provide the citizen to provide the citizen with the high quality high quality mango high quality mango juice at affordable at affordable at affordable price think that would be mine and then i close it i see and then i close my document now there are some students who would, who will ask and say teacher do i quote it now whether you quote it or you don't quote it it is uh, all the same you don't need to to waste your time whether you have quoted it or you have not quoted it you need first to go back and check the one you have in your school is it quoted whether you have quoted it or you have not quoted it the major point is how have you stated them do you know how to state it and this is what we should put into consideration that's why i'm saying when you are stating it make sure that please you begin with two because we agreed last time in paper one that for all questions that will ask for objectives for missions for visions for goals the question that will ask why questions will ask for rationales question that will ask reasons when you are answering them please may we use objective phrases or may we use words like e may we use words like two May we use words like in order to or words like needy for. Please, it's not monotonous for us to continue using to, 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 to throughout. Please, it is very okay. So that's what we shall look at and that is what we need to see it practically. Now let a student get to know that when I'm stating the mission, for me to get, for example, the three marks, I don't know. There are many marks I don't know that I would have asked, that I would have uh, given the question. If it is, for example, the two mark, let you know that one mark will go on the business name, address, and the statement of the document. It is very important. In some books, teachers will call them the document identity. Why do we call it the document identity? This is the statement that describes the particular the specific document that you are going to prepare. Meaning that if you don't prepare, if you don't state for us that particular document that you are going to prepare, it is of no use because nobody will know the document you are preparing. And people will need the document that you are going to prepare. Last time I said that there are some, when we are looking at communication documents, I said there are some individuals who may not need to read the body. But once he opens the letter like this, then he will move very fast to the subject matter. Now, what does this document say? For example, in schools, it's an application. Now, teachers, teachers who are in charge of prefects may not be in position to go back and see your body. But what have you stated? If it is an application for which post, now they will say that John has John has applied for HP ship or head boy ship. They will say list of members, right, John. Even in some organizations, people may not easily know or may not easily need to know whether 
you, you, you may not need to know your, the exact body, all the information in your body, but the statement is very, very, very important. And number next, I said last time, let us try as much as we can to avoid using, using, uh, to avoid using a, a mission statement or use the mission statement. Please, those kind of words are very much important, very much funny, and never use them, please. When you say a mission statement, uh -huh, are you saying everything is wrong? This statement is wrong. Even if you say the mission statement, you see, uh -huh. now this one is also wrong. Why? Because of this a uh, and because of that. So what are we supposed to do? We avoid using a mission statement and at the same time we avoid using that mission statement. What do we do? Let us move very fast and say that let us move very fast and say mission statement. It is not supposed to begin with any noun. You don't have to begin with anything like the like the or a mission statement. As simple as that. So a mark shall always be put where there is name and address. For, uh, for as long as they have been written clearly, another mark shall also be put where there is uh, the word um, um, mission state. Uh, I mean, the, 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 the statement that you have written, that is if it is being prepared or stated very well. Uh -huh. Due to interest of time, we shall again continue and look at the vision. Of course, we said the vision is the future prospects. And what do we mean by future prospects? A vision is what you aim to achieve in a long period of time. What do you aim, what do you look at, what are you seeing? Mm -hmm. Of course, we, we in social entrepreneurship, there's the way we define visionary leaders. How, what do you do? What do, what amount of picture of a given idea are you seeing? Is there anything you are seeing? That's why our, our brothers and our brothers and sisters, I mean the, the, the born again, they will tell you that for them they always get visions. And they mostly get visions almost all the time. Which vision do they have? We may have a vision of a vision in the next 20 years. That in the next 20 years, me as a student of senior five, me as a student of senior six, I'm seeing something. I think in the next 20 years, I will be the president of USA. So I don't know. It could be a vision. Someone had a vision. The, 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 the other president, Ida Amin, had a vision that Barack Obama would be, that an, an, an African one day will rule America. And it happened. So it is a vision. And when you are stating the vision, what do we do? Of course, we said that the frame is very important, so we must have the name, of course, and address, of course, of the business. This is very important that every individual should have in mind. And then you move very fast and say vision, statement, see? vision statement for uh -huh, we said a b c's mango mango juice and then you also move here and say state the vision for example you know, the vision could be for example that to be to be the leading producer to be the leading producer leading producer of quality of quality mango juice quality mango juice in the whole of Uganda you see that is now my my image my vision that my vision i want at a given time to be the best or the leading producer of quite a mango juice in the whole of uganda meaning that i want to be the best in the whole of uganda you can be there you say that your vision is you would love to be the best student in the whole country in usa that is the next year that when you sit your exam the term exams come back before you have gotten a hundred a hundred a hundred a hundred a hundred so in the whole you are very outstanding and you are the best and therefore that could be your vision so as simple as that of course the major point of emphasis like i've already mentioned the business name the address is very important and at the same time it is very much important for us to note the statement of the document which document are we pro which document are we preparing let us avoid like i've said let us try as much as we can to avoid 
some document C, some, um, let us try to avoid the document, the, the, the using a, uh, using the own statement of the document name. And then, of course, we said that when you're setting the mission, the vision, the goals and objectives in as far as the purpose is concerned, we continue, we, we monotonously use two, two, two. Why? Because you realize that they are, those are like an objective questions. And therefore, with the qualifier is minded too, in order to own it for as simple as that. Then you will allow me to move very fast and go to goals. Go to goals. And here goals could be very many. When you are stating the goals, what do we do? This is something we are going to note. That when you are stating the goals, when you are stating the goals now, then one has been the vision. When you are stating the goals, of course, the, the frame will be very important. Then after having the frame, we shall move very fast and have um, a name and address. Name and address. Of course, I've talked about this several times. Why? Because it is a must that all students should be in position to master the name and address of the business. And then you say, say, goals goals of goals of for example like we said we are maintaining abc mango juice abc mango juice abc mango juice project so we are going to to, to start from here immediately we come back from another short commercial break so please i request that you continue sending your questions i've started seeing them here they are very many we are going to go for a short commercial break when we come back we shall move on with the documents and then finalize i want to wish you the best welcome back from that second commercial break let's continue i think let's need we need to increase in our speed and please um of course, I want to thank those members who are sending questions on WhatsApp. And uh, of course, I'm going to continue giving you my WhatsApp number. Like I said, those members who are outside there, it is 0704-417617. Here we are saying we are preparing um, 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 the goals of the business. And we said goals of ABC Mango Juice. We can decide to have those goals. And goals could be the long-term targets of the business. And we are giving goals like, for example, to to, uh, to provide, are you seeing now, to provide the citizen, the citizen with the, the citizen with the, with high quality, high quality mango juice. High quality mango juice. Another one could be, for example, um, <coughs> that uh -huh, to be uh -huh, the leading, now you can see I'm setting it, the leading producer of mango juice, of mango juice, of mango juice in, in a period. In a period of uh, in a period of two years, full stop etc. Then after you will be required to frame your document, and that will be all. Then from there, last let us move very fast because of time. We shall move to what we call another document is what we call the. Um, we shall move to another document, and that is the objectives. shall move to what we call the objectives and what did we say about the objectives we agreed objectives are short term are, are short term targets of the business that the business aims at achieving within a period of less than one year so meaning that what if we set objectives from the, the 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 goals from the vision is that objectives are aimed at achieving them within a period of less than one year for example when you are preparing them what do we do we shall have obviously our frame and we said our frame we shall have the name of the business name and address this is very very important then when we got the document name what do we do we say objectives objectives 
adjectives for for example a b c mango juice mango juice r uh-huh why do i use r because we agreed that these objectives are more than one and therefore you can decide to give them as you can say to give as many as you you can and for example how do we state them remember we said that these objectives should be smart what do we mean by being smart uh-huh what do we mean by being smart that one be specific on your objective what do you want to achieve be that objective be measurable uh-huh what is the percentage of that thing you want to achieve either in kilograms or percentage <coughs> be attainable can it be attainable be realistic that you don't have to exaggerate and say that you want to be the leading you want to produce uh, to increase sales by 100 percent in two days it is very hard then time bound let us have a specific time frame in which to achieve our objective for example a member could say a member could say for example that um, to for example to increase sales of mango juice of mango juice by 10 percent by 10 percent within within two months now even if i don't add any this will help us to, to guide us on what to do one you have framed it very well it is to increase the sales of what now you are going to be specific you are specific because you are increasing sales of mango juice meaning that if you don't specify the the person the sales the sales you want to increase of a given particular product then you will not be you know you will not have been specific so for you be specific if in case you say to increase sales of mango juice so be specific on the item that you want to increase it you want to increase sales for then number next measurable to what percentage do you want to increase it that you want to increase it by 10 percent so it is very much important for us to note that then number next is the attainable is the 10 percent attainable ideally 10 percent is fair businesses can attain it then number next is realistic well, according to you do you see 10 percent being realistic yes 10 percent is realistic because in two months yes you can you can increase it to by by 10 percent based on what you are producing then t is time bound time bound what does it mean in what period do you aim to increase that sales of a particular product so therefore the the, the time period we have agreed is the two months and when you look at the two months i think it is a workable period as simple as that even if you give three even if you give four it depends mainly on the mark distribution so i call members in the house i call viewers outside there to take note of the above documents because they are very much important and once we don't get to understand them things may not be to our best or things may not be well in our lane thank you very much um let me move very fast and um, look at another particular document and that is what we call a financial no sorry a marketing plan We are going to look at the marketing plan as another document. <clears throat> now, what do we mean by a marketing plan? We agree that a marketing plan is mainly analysis. What are we analyzing of the possible position and opportunities of the business being planned for in the present market or at the present marketing situation? What are we trying to mean here, dear viewers? That when you are preparing, Members, we are moving to what we call preparation of the marketing plan. Marketing. Here, what are we trying to look at mainly? We are trying to realize that um, when you are preparing a market plan, we are looking at analysis. What are we analyzing? We are going to, to analyze the possible position. You get the point? Uh -huh. Of the business. Possible position and opportunities of the business being planned for at or in the present market situation what are we trying to refer to mainly that we are going to first of all analyze the, the possible position 
what do you mean by possible position that if we are all dealing in um, producing for example the whiteboard markers this is company abcd that we have been using and this is a company say for example irene and the and the family company dealing in in, in in whiteboard markers now which position do you have in the market of course in according to price in according to, to quality in according to cost the share market to capital to, to to market shares to mention but if you which position do you take we always get to understand that at times we position ourselves based on how much our competitors do their things now at times if you are all dealing in producing a given product it is very much important for you to take note and know that an individual x does things in this way and an individual y does things in this way and then at the end of the day for it will help you to know that now now to me i think i'm the second best that's why these football players for them they are very ways they position themselves they will know that because cristiano Ronaldo is there therefore you will not an individual who plays the same number will say no uh -uh, i think i will come in as a substitute uh, because Christian Ronaldo is there, I may not have a chance. Why? Because an individual has already fit to position himself. He knows that he may not be in position to play that number because that a superstar is there. So you can also position yourself. Of course, you know how to position yourself. Of course, I'm very sorry to bring in another example that even in schools, there are those schools that position themselves. Of course, borrowing a leaf from press leadership. Uh, that is the determinants of price in economics we say it is where big farms determine prices for the small farms that you as a small farm you also look at yourself and determine your prices based on the price a big farm has set to, to its or to, it, to its products so now you also look at yours and say now what has the other big farm does how much do they charge their products if the big farm is charging ten thousand, then for you as a small farm, you cannot say, "Okay, mine is going to be a hundred. Why? Hundred thousand? Why? Because you you just know you will not have any client with you. So the marketing plan, we are also going to look at the following elements that we are going to mind the look at. The first one, we have read name and the address. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. name and address is very important we have agreed that we are going to take note of that then in number next we have also agreed um that we can also move very fast and look at um, products offered all these ones are elements products offered it's an element we also move very fast and look at what we call target customers target customers we also move very fast and look at what we call um the, the 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 we can also move very fast and look at what we call the sales the sales estimate uh -huh. sales estimate all the estimated sales uh -huh. we can also move very fast and look at the distribution strategy distribution the distribution the distribution strategy Mm -hmm. We can also move very fast and look at um, position of the competitors. Position of the competitors. Position of the competi. Position of the competi. Competitors. Uh -huh. We can also move very fast and look at uh, the pricing strategy. The pricing strategy. How are you going to price your products? Then we can also look at uh, sales promotion. Sales promotion. Sales promotion and advertising and uh, sales promotion and advertising and and advertising strategy etc there are very many i may not finish them and of, of course we, we agreed that when you look at this it is one two three four five six seven eight they are around 10 around 10 11 there now when you look at all these comp elements you may if you have time it's okay for you to put them there but if you don't have time you can decide to pick any six pick six and then present them now what do we do 
Of course, I'm going to talk about these elements. Um, one, I talked about the, the, the name and address, that's what I'm not going to repeat. I talked about the products offered. We agreed these um, services or goods that the business deals in. The target customers, we have talked about them, that, that these are intended group of people the business aims um, at producing the products to. We have also moved very fast and looked at the sales estimate or the submitted sales. What does it mean? That all entrepreneurs in this country will have an average estimate of sales that can help them to break even. If, for example, you are the one selling um, uh, the roasted, the roasted maize, for example, on the roadside, you will say that, for example, if I sell my six, if I sell six, there will be even if I first go back and rest. So that could be your estimate. The distribution strategy here. What does it mean? That the distribution we bought it from marketing that is the distribution channel and we say distribution channel it is the path mm? this word is very important it is the path path or way the way goods move or products move from the producer up to the final consumer how do you move your things from the producer up to the final consumer it is what we call the, the, the distribution strategy i've talked about position of the competitors and I said, position of the competitors, what does it mean? We are mainly looking at your products. In When you compare your products with the competitor's product, which position do you give yourself? Uh -huh. The pricing strategies. Here we say that, um, that a price is a monetary value of, of, of any, a monetary value of any good or service. Now, what does it mean by a monetary value? As an entrepreneur, of course, we entrepreneurs, what do we agree? We believe that there are very many strategies of pricing your products. What do you price your products based on? What do you base on to price your products? Do you look at the, the quality of the product to price your products? Do you look at the, 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 the competitor's price? And then you say, like I've told you, price leadership. You say now that maybe, um, for example, uh, 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 someone say Katikara uh, prices products say for example Katikara's books are for 5,000 and then for you you say uh -uh, because Katikara's books are 5,000 and they look they look nice more than mine so there are for mine will be 3,000 what do you base on to say do you base on the quantity that uh, because this one is much and this one is little so there are for let the other one be for 10,000 what do you base on to price your products that's why we are saying that the pricing strategy is very important. Another element called the sales promotion and advertising strategy. It's a very key and important element under marketing plan. Why? Because um, we have read in marketing that um, sales promotion, these are activities entrepreneurs do to, to attract customers, to make customers get to know that their products are ready for sale and at the same time attract them by you know, getting them get to use to their products. Now, other sales promotion advertising shortage, here we want to know what measures do you use to make sure that uh, people get to know what you are producing? What measures do you use to make sure that uh, people get to understand that, uh, yeah, uh, someone called said jo uh, Juliana, that Juliana is uh, the owner of this particular product and her products are very interesting, her products are of good quality. What do they base on to, to say that? What do they need to know? And then lastly, we talked about the frame and the frame is very important see the frame is very very important now in as far as super two is concerned like i've been preparing the same documents in as far as super two is concerned may we get to know that one when you are preparing this each of these elements at least of course minus the frame but the this other element please let us try as much as you can if it is the name and address State the name of that particular business. If it is the products that the business deals in, try as much as you can to state the product the business mind the deal in. If it is the target customers of the business, please tell us who are those people that the business aims at distributing or at aims at selling products to. Then the sales target. We at times use the percentage. That might be, it could be 10%. You see? That for you, your target is once you get to know, once you sell your 10% of the products in a day, oh, 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 there you are, even if you go back home and sleep. I, 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 there are these boys of ours 
these young boys of ours, the border border boys, for them they have their tendency. What will they tell you? They will tell you that for me, once I happen to get, if I happen to get, say for example, forty thousand, there will be, and it is a strategy because very many people tend to use it. There are even some companies that say even if it's a restaurant, that if you serve ten plates, if you serve a hundred plates, ah, all profits will be realized immediately. Then the position of the, the distribution strategy, you talk about the distribution channel. What distribution channel do businesses use? For example, since it is paper two, of course the question will be you intend to establish, so meaning that it is you. Now you put yourself in the shoes of the owner. Now what do we do? You can say the distribution strategy, you say ABC, for example, it's a business name we have been using. ABC, Mango Juice, uses direct distribution channel. You get the point? Meaning that deals with the customers direct, so get to know how best to arrange all these elements. Then number next is the pricing strategy. We have talked about the pricing strategy, and in as far as the pricing strategy is concerned, we are trying to see the methods you have used you as an entrepreneur when pricing your products. What which method did you use? Did you um, use quality? Did you use the the quantity? Did you go to competitors' price and make comparison of the two? Did you based on the demand? Why do we say basing on the demand that even if I'm the one selling, say for example, I say I own a canteen in a particular school and for example, I get to realize that each, every break time or at a given day on a break time, all students in school standard, all students in school begin asking for chapats and yet I have only 10. Now the one that has been and realized that almost the whole school wants chapat, even teachers are sending for chapats. Now what will I do? That there have been chapat of 500 will obviously be increased by price. Why? Because they will say that now because the, everyone needs a chapat, so the one of 500 is now 2000. So because the demand is high and of course we know that once the demand of a given product or service is high, for the prices will also have to be increased as fast as we can. Then um, that would, that was the pricing strategy. Then there's the sales promotion and advertising strategy. Try to tell us or try to, to bring out an example of a method of advertising that businesses use. Of course, we agreed that businesses use TVs, businesses use newspapers, businesses use display methods, businesses use to mention but a few. Say it out one. Did you use a TV? Did you use display? Did you use a radio? What do which method of advertising do businesses use? Then after that, you'll obviously frame like what I have done, and then that will be all, and then you'll be given your free marks. Uh, due to interest of time, um, I'm going to move very fast and also look at um, the, 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 the um, and also look at the, the production plan. But maybe before you look at the production plan, I want to remind members that it is very much important for us to note that one. If we don't have to set out an any element and then individualize by using I. If you say, for example, products offered and you say we deal in we, eh? you get the point. Then once you say we deal in, you are gone. We don't give you any mark here. Why? Because we don't use words like we deal in. Once you go ahead and say that um, our business deals in, there you have gone. Why? Because we don't have to do it. We don't have to, to individualize. You say the business deals in. The target customers of the business. Once you go ahead and say our target customers are there you there, there is wrong. Why? Because I said we don't have to individualize. What do you say? You say that the target customers of the business are to mention but a few. Now another element is what we call production plan. You see? Production plan and the and a production plan as a document, of course, as an element in the paper one, we said it analyzes the production need or the, the requirement for producing a given good or service. Now, when you look at the, 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 the what we need to produce a good or a service is what we are referring to as a, a production plan. And in this regard, ladies and gentlemen, we are mainly going to set out the elements. What makes paper two very interesting, you realize that there are some elements that are almost cutting across everywhere. For example, of the, the, the documents that we have so far looked at, we began with the general description. We have prepared almost the statement of mission, vision, goals, and objectives. Now we have done a marketing plan. We have now gone to the production plan. You realize that the name and address 
are almost the common element. Now, viewers, have you realized how you have gotten a trick of getting free marks? So, likewise, here we shall also begin with the name and address. You see, name and address. This is something very important that each day we prepare, or each time we prepare any document, please, the name and address of any business is very important. There is no single document that does not require a name and an address of the business because all businesses will need to be described by the name. That's why last time I said, or I've just told you, that you cannot tell me, begin telling me stories if I don't know your name. That's why even as teachers, when I had just started, I began by introducing myself that I'm called to take Patrick, a teacher of the Mango Senior School, teacher of entrepreneurship. And they gave you my WhatsApp number that students are sending, that your, 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 your colleagues are sending their questions on. Then number next, um, another element here of a production plan is what we call uh, the business site. Business site and its location. Are you seeing? Uh -huh. Another one, due to interest of time, we shall also look at what we call the utility utility requirement another one it is okay we shall move very fast and look at uh, the labor requirement labor requirement because we need to know when producing there is some labor that we should use another one is what we call um, capacity utilization First utilization. Another one is the manufacturing process. Money. Manufacturing process. Says manufacturing process. <clears throat> Another one. We shall also look at the disposal of waste products. Then ETC. Eh? There are very many elements of production plan, but among which we can decide to look at those ones. And here, that's why we are looking at the name and address. I'm not going to talk about it. When you talk about business site and its location, it is something very much important. Viewers, I want to, to remind you once again that uh, my WhatsApp number is 07 is 0704 17 of course, when we go for, for this next commercial break that we are yet to go to, 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 are yet to go for, once we go for that commercial break, when we come back, I will briefly move very fast and talk about it, talk about the, 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 the document, and then after talking about the production plan, and then I will go to WhatsApp questions and then finalize. Let's go for a, a, another last commercial break. Then when we meet, we shall finalize, and I will read all the questions the query, the, 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 the questions on WhatsApp, and then we wind up our session. Thank you very much. Let's go for a short commercial break. Thank you very much, and I want to welcome you back from uh, that second, that last commercial break. And um, like we had agreed, immediately I finished the first 10 minutes, I will move very fast to questions on WhatsApp. I see there are very many. And uh, if in the case I don't finish them all, of course we shall continue interacting, um, and then see how best to, 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 to handle all the questions. Um, by the time we went for a commercial break, I had completed, um, I had looked at the, pre the production plan, and this is what we had agreed. And the, we cited out some of the very few elements. Those ones that are very much common, I'm not going to talk about them. Let me move very fast to look site, business site and its location. Now, in some, there are some people who state it as, um, business site stroke location please it is the site and its location why because all businesses have got the site and have got where they are located so therefore let us look at the business site and its location mainly now here you are going to describe where the business is uh, where the business is found i mean as in the location of the business and uh, the site where the business is um, uh, is, uh, is found then the utility requirement here we are trying to look at um, we are we shall look at water as examples of utility we shall look at water we shall look at power that is electricity etc 
then we need to know do businesses do businesses use power do businesses use water to mention but a few then the number next is the labor requirement when we talk about the labor requirement of course here we have picked it someone would say it is an element of organization plan but we also need it in production because in production you're not going to produce something where you are not going to produce anything if you don't have put hope you there capacity utilization those are something to do with the machine and then manufacturing process these are the stages a product take from the purchase of raw material up to when the product is displayed for sale or up to when the product is ready for consumption then lastly we are looking at um, the dispose of waste products here members you need to note that uh, the dispose of the waste products here we are mainly looking at uh, what mainly how do you dispose your products uh -huh. at times we dispose products mainly one and uh, when we are uh, we are um, uh, at times uh, those products we dispose in the form of wastes that maybe we go and, and uh, use them as manure like for example if you are dealing in juice those husks you will have to use them the, 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 what, what you are going to use them as the manure there are those uh, waste products that are being used now as art you can sell them to the art industries they go and use them there are those other products like for example the waste products like they could be the packaging materials like the jerry cans can again be reused for other purposes to mention but a few then lastly let me talk about the financial plan then when we meet next time we shall talk about um, organizational plan and um, action plan and then uh, the financial plan uh-huh financial plan here we are mind analyzing the financial requirement of the business here we shall look at one the source of funds source of funds we need to note that then the number next we shall also look at uh, the fixed assets, the fixed capital requirements, fixed capital requirements. Then we shall also move very fast and look at um, the working capital requirements, working capital requirements. We shall also move very fast besides working capital. We shall also move very fast and look at the overheads uh -huh, or expenses. Then we shall also look, move very fast and look at um, the um, estimated profits. Estimated profits. Uh -huh. We shall also look at estimated sales we shall also move very fast and look at the break even analysis break even analysis see break even analysis full stop those are some of the very few we need to, to, to take note of and understand very fast when you talk about the source of funds I've talked about it it could have been alone but here, yes, since it is paper two, try to tell us because it, it, preparing a financial plan in paper two, they may tell you that you, you intend to establish a business or it could be a bakery business, any kind of business worth a hundred million. And then that's what the business you want to start. Then they will ask you, you are going to prepare a financial plan, but again telling us the selectless sources where you are going to get the money that you are going to use to start up the business. That's why I have said that when you are stating it, try to be smart enough and tell us how much are you going to get if it is loans, how much? If it is savings, how much? The fixed capital requirement, here we are looking at the specific amount of money that we are going to invest in, um, for example, in the fixed assets of the business. Then the number next is the working capital requirements. Here we are mind looking at it. We are mind looking at how much are you going to spend in the day-to-day -day running of the business. Those daily expenses are the ones we call the fixed as the fixed capital requirements. The overheads, those are the, the expenses. Then the estimated profits. How much do you expect to get at the end of every session? Then the estimated sales. We have talked about how much um, you mentioned the percentage of sales that you intend or you expect to, to have in a given period of time. 
Then lastly is the break-even analysis. Even if I don't talk about that, I assume you all know how best to handle that. Then um, you will allow me to move very fast and go to WhatsApp because um, they are, I see there are very many and yet I see there are very many and yet we have uh, limited time now as we talk. I'm going to answer some of the WhatsApp questions. I see they are very, very many, but yet we have very, very, very limited time. Uh, I will move very fast and um, I will move, move very fast and talk about it. Let me move very fast and talk about this. Point number one, uh, a member asked teacher, you know that he has not indicated the name. A member said, teacher, uh, thank you very much for the work well done, welcome. Can you please take us through, help us and take us through uh, the difference between the VAT inclusive and VAT exclusive? Wow. We have talked about this thing, I think, several times, but it is okay. Um, we say the VAT, it's self. This is um, the tax imposed on each stage in production process. Here we are looking at the stages. The first stage, uh -huh, the first stage here, is minded always the producer. Uh, I will show you. Then the second stage is always the wholesaler. The wholesaler. The third stage is always the retailer. Then the fourth stage is always the final consumer. Then what are we trying to refer to? When we were just looking at a marketing plan, we looked at the distribution strategy. In the distribution strategy, we look at uh, the, the process goods will take from the, from the producer of the final consumer. Now, we agreed that VAT is mind. What we need to notice is that when we are looking at VAT, uh, maybe someone did not notice this. When we are looking at VAT, here VAT, we are mind looking at value added. Ah, that at each stage there must be a value added and each value added should be subjected to tax that's why we call it VAT and then we said what value will be added from the produce we expect the producer to have produced it and no value addition so therefore it remains there so we need to accept that VAT at the first stage we mind the tax we mind the tax that, 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 that that's the purchase price the purchase price is what we tax because the producer will not have sold it. Now the wholesaler, we said the value added at the wholesaler, we agreed that value added, value added is mainly the selling price, is mainly the selling price minus the purchase price. You get? Minus the purchase price. What am I trying to refer to here? How much did you buy your products, for example? If I bought this marker at 2,000, 2,000 will be the purchase price. And I have sold it at 8,000. Now 8,000 will be the selling price. Now selling price minus purchase price, I will mean 8,000 minus 2,000. Because I've told you 8,000 is the selling price and then 2,000 is the purchase price. Meaning that I bought it 2,000, but you see, I'm selling it at 8,000. So the difference between the two is what we call the value addition. Here, since I've given you an example, we have agreed that our selling price, assuming, eh, was 8,000. Yet we had bought it, and this sounds, this sounds to be the purchase price. We had bought it at 2,000. You get the point now? Now, the difference between 8,000 minus 2,000. Now, the difference of 6,000. See? The difference of 6,000. Now, this 6,000 stands to be the value addition. Now, when we are computing for VAT, now, this value addition or value added is what we subject to tax. And therefore, that is what we are trying to refer to uh, VAT. That's what we are trying to refer to VAT. And then, of course, this is what we need to note. When you are looking at VAT, what are we supposed to note under here? That uh, we have got the inclusive of VAT and exclusive of VAT. This is what a member wanted to know the difference. Now, we have inclusive of VAT, inclusive of VAT, and exclusive 
and exclusive of VAT. What does it mean? When we talk about the inclusive of VAT, it means that on that particular value of a particular, uh, that particular cost of a given product, it includes VAT on it. That's why we said that inclusive or VAT inclusive. Uh huh. Are you seeing VAT inclusive? That's why we said it is just nothing but the rate, and of which I'm going to tell you that is R divided by R plus 100. What does it mean? Where we said where R is equal to 18. So you can as well get it and see that it is 18 over 18 plus 100, which gives us 18 over 118. Now, meaning that whenever they talk about VAT inclusive, my dear viewers, take the VAT rate as 18 over 118. That is for VAT inclusive. But where they say VAT exclusive, meaning that on that particular cost of a given product that you are going to buy or you are going to pay for, just to get to know that VAT is not included. That's why we are saying VAT exclusive. We are not going to include VAT on it. That's why we said that VAT exclusive or exclusive of VAT, we said it is just rate over 100 which is equal to 18 over 100. At the same time, we call it 18%. So now, meaning that, for example, if we are subjecting our simple example here on VAT exclusive, on VAT inclusive, it would have been, because now 6,000, we realized is the value addition, now it would have been 18 over 118 times 6,000. That is if we are using the inclusive of VAT. But if we are using school exclusive of VAT, therefore it could be, it can be, it will be 18 over 100 times 6,000. What does it mean? It is 18 over 100 times, 18 over 100 times, times, times the value addition. And we agreed value addition is 18, the VAT rate is 18%, as simple as that. Uh, another question moves, another question, uh, another student said, um, teacher, thank you very much, uh, thank you very much um, for everything. May you please help us and say something about, um, wow, may you please move very fast and say something about, um, about small and medium enterprise. What's wrong with small and medium enterprise? Here, oh, the, only, the only point I want to talk about is that under small and medium enterprise, we mainly want to look at one, the micro business, the macro business, the small business, and the medium businesses. Now, when you look at most businesses we have in the country are medium businesses. And by the way, I want to let you know that most of these businesses in the country, most of the common, common businesses are small and medium enterprises. So whenever we are being asked the role of small and medium enterprises in the country, let us move very fast and look at the shops around, look at the restaurants around, look at the kiosks we have around, look at things to do with the groceries we have, the ones people call for markets some of them around to mention but if you look at those examples look at some of those area businesses and see their role that's why roles will be like providing employment opportunity who doesn't know that people who work in groceries are, are, are also given money so therefore they provide employment opportunities who doesn't know that um, of course they they, they 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 yeah of course we agreed that they provide oh they they yeah they provide so providing revenue to the government. Who doesn't know that some of these um, businesses provide revenue to the government to mention but a what? But a few. We just need to take note and understand that as fast as we can. Then number next, you also need to notice that, um, of course, when they say account for popularity of small and medium enterprises, here we call upon members to realize that we are asking you, or the question is asking you, why do you think the restaurants these small businesses are very much common. Why are they very popular in the country? That's why we say they are very flexible. It is very easy to change, uh, 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 change a, a double-roomed house that has been for, for rent. You change it into a restaurant. You put Mama Irene to Ninira and take her away. Then you change it into a restaurant. So meaning that it is very easy to change it. We have seen very many businesses changing from maybe selling this to selling the other. 
Then number next, they are better easier to start. Why? Because we all agreed and know that when you look at some of these businesses, it is very easy for a business to begin operating. Why? It is simple for the business, say a restaurant, to 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 to, to use some or even go ahead and use around one hundred thousand to begin a restaurant. I think we believe that is some fair, fair and little capital that will be required. And then number next, we said that they require simple technology. Which technology are we going to use in preparing it? We need charcoal, we need the water, we need a kettle or a saucepan, and then we prepare tea, put tea leaves and sugar, and then we sell a cup at six or well, what I don't know. Then people will end up making business or getting money. As simple as that. Another point I also want to let members know is that under small and medium enterprise again, it is where we meet LM, it is where we meet family and businesses. And no, before even go farm and business, it's where we meet. It's where we meet insurance in small business enterprise. Small business enterprises and a small and medium enterprise. And there with the insurance, last time we said we are mainly going to look at. We are mainly looking at. Uh, I want to move very fast because because of time. It's where we mainly move and look at. Um, mainly, mainly, mainly that the businesses, that the principles of insurance and those principles we agreed there are only five and we said because i don't want to waste time here again we said that um it is we have we have one we have uh, ut most good faith and here under ut most good faith we called it why am i saying ut most because when i say at most good faith very many students will read it as at most yet we don't have any principle called at most when you say at most this one is wrong that's why I'm here I'm pronouncing it as UT most. You see? It is UT most. Uh -huh. UT most good what? Good faith. Another principle is the subrogation. You see? You don't have to use A. It's SU. Another one is proximate cause. Proximate cause. Another one is insurable interest insurable interest another one is uh, another one is um besides insurable interest another one is uh, indemnity 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 so we make sure that um, these principles are put here uh-huh there are some books that will tell you or there was some um, there, there was a mistake somewhere where where they also indicated or they brought a, a principle they called them um, a, a contribution but contribution will never be a principle of insurance please may we take note of that and then um lastly we have small we have our family businesses as a, an example of small and medium enterprises it is under small and medium enterprises and we said Last time we said family businesses, these are businesses that are mainly managed by family members. Those are relatives, brothers, to mention, but a what? But a few. As simple as that. And that's what we talked about last time. Of course, under family and business, we saw what we are supposed to look at, and that is what we agreed. Then um, another member talked about, um, thank you very much, another member moved very fast and looked at, uh, uh, instead for him, he sent a question. Thank you very much, sir. Uh, how do I answer this question? Explain the elements of human resource management. Eh, okay. Now, when you are explaining the elements of human resource management, here we state an element, like for example, you have induction, we have motivation, we have performance appraisal, we have to mention but a few. Now, when you are talking about them, what do you do? Bring out, set out an element. For example, uh, for example, you can talk about performance appraisal. Then explain it. You get the point because we said performance appraisal is the continuous evaluation and assessment. So you make sure that you go and explain, define that particular element very fast, and then you move. You may move very fast and talk about interview. Talk about it. Uh, induction. Talk about it. To mention, but a what? But a few. Another element. Another question a member is asking is. Um, um, teacher, can you throw more light on? Um, uh -huh. Teacher, can you throw more light on? Um, which question is that? Market segmentation. Oh, that is market segmentation basis. Okay. Yeah. There, there, there is um, under marketing management. We have got um, a subheading called market segmentation. Segmentation is dividing of market into small individual market groups. Uh huh. Basing on uh, on habits 
basing on needs and wants of the customers. Of course, we say to segment is to divide. We are dividing the market basing on what customers need. What do you need? A given individual may say that this section needs sumbusas, so you are dividing the section. Whenever you talk about sumbusas, then you know it is that section. The other section needs, for example, cassava. You just know this is particular section and they need cassava. This section, for them, they need, um, for example, uh, 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 egg rolls. They need maybe the meat pies, the sandwiches to mention, but if you so we are dividing them a bit basing on that. That's why we have the basis of market segmentation, points like discussion, points like geographical, points ge yeah, geographical, points like demographic to mention, but age to mention, but a few. So we just need to go back and read our marketing. Um, lastly, um, I think uh, I'm not going to read all of them because of time. Uh, teacher, thank you very much. Which topics are very much? Which topics are very common in paper one that appear in paper three? <sighs> My dear. Now all topics, and this is a, a, a humble request. I would love to inform members, the viewers, right now that, um, of course, I told you last time, it is mind the paper one, the mother of all topics, of sort of old papers. So make sure that you read all the topics, all the topics in the paper one. Because we don't have a specific topic where we say that this one appears in section, this one appears in paper one, and this one appears in paper two. We don't have it. And please, please, and please, whoever has asked this question, take note and know that we are not answering topics in the papers. We are answering the whole top. We are answering the whole syllabus. So therefore, you read paper one, for it will help you pass all the three papers: one, two, and and paper three. Um, lastly, uh, let me talk about this or I also move very fast to another one. Teacher, thank you very much for the discussion. May you please take us through, uh, may you please take us through entrepreneurial environment and social entrepreneurship. I think that will be a discussion for another time. Of course, like I told you, we have very few minutes to end our session and therefore after this session, we shall, I think, arrange, meaning that when we meet again, just be rest assured that I'm going to come well prepared uh, for, 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 for one, for, for, for social entrepreneurship and entrepreneurial environment, meaning that uh, most of you want to get to know what they are all about. But in very few seconds or very few minutes remaining to end our session, what I would love to tell you is that we shall be in position to meet. And then thank you very much for listening. Thank you very much for attending. We shall be very much in touch. I wish you the best and have a blessed weekend. May God bless you. Sanitize, keep social distance, and always avoid 